Hey guys, this is Kevin AR, and today we're going to be making a video of how to make a foxy mask. Let's do this. So first you're going to try to uh, um, cut the outer part of the plate. Alright, so after you got the outer part of the plate out, now <clears throat> just get any type of marker and then just draw a curve line right uh, um probably not in the center but like below the center so after you got that we're just gonna cut it all right so after you got that out so it should kind of look like this time to get decorating first thing that we are going to do we're gonna color the whole thing orange or red if you think foxy is red so guys it might be very hard I'm not even done yet. It's almost been like five minutes. Also, if you're gonna use paint, well, I'm okay with that. Um, paint will probably work better, but I'm not using marker. Yeah, but should I have used paint? Do my markers running out? Well, say bye bye to the orange marker because I had to throw it inside the trash can. There we go. Well, let me go back to it. Alright guys, now try markers for this. Please don't. Markers can run out easily. Unless if it's a new one. Mine's was the old one. Look how dry it is. Not even close to finishing. Well, there is going to be like probably a part two. I know what you guys are thinking. You never made DK's adventure part two. I am going to. Also, you guys, you guys might be wondering, why didn't you make the Batman armored helmet suit thingamajig? Well, I quit it on that because my dad just threw inside the recycling bin. So yeah, um, now let's just get back to work on this mask that's not completed. All right, so I just got. New pack of markers. I'm gonna get out orange. It's pretty new. I'm glad that we got this. Dude, this marker works perfectly. Yes, I did it. That took almost about like 20 minutes. Now, just tracing like um, an eye patch that connects to an eye like this. After you get it out, you're just gonna color it black. Except for this eye right there. Alright, so I got some glue right here. And then you're gonna glue it right here. So this is how it should look like when it's uh, glued on. So now what you need to do is make a curve like that. And then just make um, an eyeball. Then you are gonna color the pupil yellow. Then after that, just color the um thingamajig of the eye purple it looks kind of blue on the, um the screen but it's actually purple looks like i need to cut this a little bit more like that all right so i know what you're saying this is so small it actually isn't it actually fits perfectly like that. So this is actually my vision. I'll try to poke a hole so you can see through it, but it won't work. Now just take another plate. Wow, this looks kind of perfect. So what you need to do is just trace a line of where you put the mask on the plate like that. So you just cut through the line and then cut out. And then you can take like any piece, they're both the same, and just um cut out the outer part oh and i almost forgot Can't cut out the corners right here on the my foxy mask now what you want to do just flatten out this paper paper plate now there was a little bit more on it so just cut out the outer part now just unflatten it so now i'm just going to do this idea so if I just put it like this, and then I just like fold it like that, it should look kind of like a snail. Let me try doing that. It worked. Looks like a taco. So it should look kind of like this after you fold it. 
After that, cut out curves on the sides. Now just fold the top so it can look 3D when you're looking at the front. Now just cut out a circle and then color it black. So this is how it should look like. Sorry guys, that was the end of part one. See you guys next time. Peace out.